Hey everybody, Keith K here, and today I've got something a little different on my channel. I'm going to go through a 7 Days to Die Horde base that I am a big fan of. There are some amazing uh, 7 Days to Die tutorials out there that have some really sophisticated and complicated bases, but I'm not that clever or creative, and I really uh, have found this simple 9x9 square to be a great defensive position, and I'm going to walk through how to build that. Um, one of the things that I really like about this is that you can start off with um, some pretty basic supplies and upgrade the base as you go uh, along the way as you get access to things like concrete. And as you can see here, I've got um, floodlights up on the top along with a generator if you can make that out. Here's a closer look uh, from the top of the base. Again, I've got the floodlights connected to the generator. And then I always have a chest filled with supplies for Horde Knight. I'll build that up over the course uh, in between um, Horde Knights. And then I've got a few of these turrets here. Uh, they will push the zombies away. Um, some fire barrels so that I can see a little better on top of the floodlights. And then in this case, I've, I'm pretty close to my base. Um, and that's turned out to be a little bit of a problem uh, on Horde Knight when zombies come from the other side of this. Uh, so the example I'm going to build for you guys is on its own. And, uh, and then I have a entrance hatch slash escape hatch over here, which comes in handy. And this is also made, uh, can be made of less uh, solid material to start and then more solid material as you advance. So it is useful um, along the way. And then we can just get back in here. So with that brief tour, let's take a look at how we pull it together. All right, I just want to show you that we are starting a new game. Uh, we're playing on Alpha 19.6. And we'll start a new game here. And I always just name them based on the version and the month that I'm starting just so that I can keep track of them. All right, and here we are at the start of the game. And I just wanted to assure you that I am starting from the beginning. Um, and obviously I'm gonna need to grind for a few days before I have some material start to build that base. Um, and I'll be back when I'm ready. All right, and you can see here that I've been grinding for a few days and we're now at day four. Um, and I'm gonna build our horde base right here, uh, kind of where I had it uh, in the intro in the other game, um, but I've not built any sort of uh, base over here. I've just been holding out in the town, one of the houses in the town over there at night and doing a bit of, a bit of tunneling just to gather uh, some resources and grinding a little bit. And uh, I've cleared out um, a space here. I've put down nine of these wood frame blocks, nine by nine. Uh, that's what our base dimensions are gonna be. Um, so we're gonna dig out this center here, uh, down just one, and then we'll start to um, put down the foundation. So I will be back for that. All right, and I finished digging down one level in the 9x9 square marked off by the wood frames. I've also marked the center uh, with a wood block frame, and I'll explain that in a minute. So we're going to go ahead here and look at what we need to uh, build this. If my math is correct, we're going to need 212 of these flagstone blocks. Um, and the flagstone blocks themselves are one of the um, cheapest that you can build that has some durability beyond the wood. Um, and that takes four cobblestones. And one cobblestone is just one stone and one clay soil. And you'll get tons and tons of clay soil, as you can see, and small stones just by tunneling. Um, digging out your foundation here creates a bunch. Um, and we're going to want to you know, as much cobblestone as we can get, but this this is, you know, what we'll need to start with here. Um, we also want at least four wooden ladders and 62 wood frames to start, and then I've got some torches um, to go ahead and light up our base once we get it built. So we're going to start off with just putting this foundation down.
All right, and we've got our uh, nine by nine laid down. Uh, you'll notice where I had the center square marked off. Um, I've put a column in where we're gonna put our ladders uh, to get up on top. And then I've left this one open. Uh, eventually we're gonna dig straight down and we'll have a ladder down um, to our escape tunnel um, and probably put over here some distance away like I showed at the beginning, um, just an escape uh, tunnel so that we can get in and out of here um, and I do have a way I'll show you that we can get in and out of this base prior to that because that is a lot of tunneling it will take some time depending on what your tools are um, but we're gonna go ahead and build our columns and we're gonna go three high here and we'll just put one uh, sorry we'll put one column in each of the corners And then these will go, uh, and then we'll go come across here as well. And you wanna come out a couple from each side and not just go straight across. I haven't tested it, but it potentially could collapse. I'm not 100% sure. Well, actually we're gonna find out right now. I'm gonna go all the way across to this guy. Oh, that does work. All right. All right. So now we've got ourselves boxed in here. Um, and now we need um, our columns where if we fill this in like this, you'll see that uh, our we're just blocked in, right? So if you have your fieldstone equipped and you press R and then hover over the shape and then let go. If we go with the, I think it's the pillar 50. Yep, we're gonna do the rest of these in pillar 50. Then you can just escape. And uh, I found that these are really great uh, in terms of being able to, you know, you can fight between these but the zombies can't enter. All right, so I'm just gonna fill the rest of these in. I'm gonna leave one open uh, just so I can get in and out until we're finished uh, setting this up so that we can get in here. All right, so I'll be right back. All right, and we've got all of our flagstone blocks placed now. Um, and I've extended the center column up to three height and I put one uh, wood block frame just as a placeholder there until we're ready to dig down. Uh, just so we don't fall. So we'll go ahead and put our ladders down, our wood ladders, uh, so we can get to the top. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna fill in with wood frames so that we can walk around up top. And uh, we finished up putting in our wood decking and we're pretty much finished here. Um, you can you can bring this up one higher uh, if you want, but I wanted to show off you know what would have the least amount of resources needed. Um, you can fight from in here, you can do good melee damage and you can also shoot as well as um, you know I think this is a great platform up here as well. Uh, once you if you've got ranged weapons so when you run out of ammo uh, one of the things that I do especially on horde night is I'll go back down and use melee weapons at that point okay now in terms of getting in and out of here like I said uh, we will tunnel at some point uh, but before that one of the things that you can do is so find your center block and come away that's one two, three, uh, and then you're gonna go up, up, one more. And then with these wood blocks again, you can do the same thing. If you hold down R, hover over shapes, 
and we're going to find here our wood framing ramp. Okay, and then you'll just escape. Just left, left click to get it to face the right way, and then you can place it. And then you can actually just run up this ramp, jump, and be right on here. And if it's too away, it's too far for the zombies to actually um, be able to do that. They can't, they can't seem to do it. So you could just stick with the wood frames. You know, they are liable uh, to get broken uh, by the zombies. So you might want to at least go up one level. Uh, in terms of durability, finish building them out. Um, I wouldn't reinforce them more than that, especially if you are working on uh, the the tunnel that we talked about earlier. So we'll go ahead and fill this in now. Again, we'll press R, and it's the flagstone pillar 50. We, now we've filled that in. We'll go back to just our regular block. Uh, one of the things that I'll do as an improvement here is to dig down one block here. Actually, two blocks. Um, so one, one block and go down one more uh, and then put in cobblestone. Oh, sorry, these flagstones. Uh, blocks and then you can put uh, traps on top of that. Oh, how did I miss that? Well, let's get it while we're here. All right, so this is sort of level one of this really simple horde base complete. Like I said, you can always run up here. You don't want to be um, overburdened uh, because you might not be able to make that jump. So that's one thing to be warned about. Now, um, we'll come back. It's getting a little late today, but we'll come back and I will show you uh, sort of that trap moat I was just talking about. One of the nice things about this base um, is that while you can build this, you know, with uh, just stone and clay, uh, you can quickly upgrade it with extra cobble to this brick. And then you can upgrade it again with cement. <clears throat> um, and if you, you know, early in the game, it's day four at this point. Um, I don't have a cement mixer that's working. But one of the nice things about building this right here by this farm is that there is a fair amount of uh, cobble and cement over in the barn and actually in the basement of the house. So let's go take a look at that. Okay, and here we are inside the barn. Now, there will be zombies in here, so you do need to clear this out. Um, but there's lots of cement and cobble in here. Um, now, you'll still need a cement mixer. But if you're lucky, you'll find a cement mixer at uh, that's working at one of the, um, the traders. And, uh, you know, even if you're having a hard time making enough cobble, you can come in here uh, and raid this for, um, for cobble. These, these bushels or these, you know, bushels of stone here are actually all cobble. Um, so that's the barn. Let's go take a look at the house. All right, and we're here in the house. And again, like I said, a lot more of the cement bags and bags, these big bags of cobble here. So it's just another way that you can get plenty of resources for this. Um, oops, I'm hitting the wrong one. How about that? All right, and like I said, you know, this really is the basic. Um, it's getting dark, so I'll be back uh, in a minute, um, and we can look at some additional upgrades. You know, the other thing you can do is improve the decking here. Uh, zombies, they won't be able to get uh, to to the decking until the spider monkeys start to show up. Um, but you know, for day four, I think we've got a pretty solid 
base here and uh, we're going to work on improving it over the next few few days. So I'll be right back uh, once we get a little more sun. All right, and we're back here the next day. Uh, took a little bit of time to upgrade where I could. Um, I wanted to show you, you know, I kind of build this trench like I talked about last time and fill it in with these spike traps, which you can find here. They're a little expensive. You do need a lot of wood. They're 20 each, um, but uh, they're worth it. I think you can upgrade them to um, metal traps later. I think iron maybe. Uh, yeah, here we go. Iron spike traps. You can just upgrade those once you have um, iron in your inventory, which I don't. And then I will usually uh, kind of upgrade from top to bottom. I'm sorry, bottom to top. Uh, so I'll do the the perimeter and then these, you know, the zombies tend to fall in here and they'll strike on these two first. So, um, you know, I'll do that. And then as much as I have extra cobble, I will go ahead and keep upgrading all the way around. And then the interior would be last, certainly. Uh, and then the other thing I wanted to point out is that I was a few uh, blocks short. I think I said 212 blocks, but uh, we actually needed six additional ones. So 218 blocks will get you this whole build. Um, and then I did go to uh, one of the local traders where there was a functioning... Um, cement mixer that's the word i'm looking for cement mixer yeah and uh the cement that we had found um and uh, stopped at a couple of other places i was able to find quite a bit of cement um and then you create cement mix from that or sorry concrete mix from the cement and all you need for that is one sand one stone and one of these cement uh, powders and the crushed sand you can create in the cement mixer from the small stone and it does take a while. Um, I was only able to to build about 90 of these. Um, so we'll see, uh, you know, how far we can get with that. But essentially, you just do the same thing as you did with the cobble. You just upgrade it right to the cement. And then once that dries, you'll see, um, you know, what that looks like. And then you can upgrade it to reinforced concrete a second time. Um, so the first time... You, you know, it's just going to be regular concrete and then you can't upgrade it until it dries and it just takes, it just needs to be in the sun for a little bit uh, before it does that. But, uh, you know, there you go. Day five, we've got a pretty good, uh, simple base that you can continue to upgrade uh, along the way and, you know, not too resource intense. So these are all things that you can find or gather pretty uh, early in the game. And pretty quickly if you just uh, you know dig a bit so um, you know that's gonna do it for now I'll come back in a few more days uh, when it's uh, the blood moon and we'll uh, we'll give it a spin and between now and then I'm gonna upgrade this as much as possible so that you can see just how up you know how upgraded you can get this in your your first week uh, you can actually get pretty far so uh, we'll be back here soon and uh, you know if you're enjoying this video please do consider subscribing uh, and you'll get updates for any future videos that I post so with that uh, I'll keep upgrading this and I'll be back all right and that sound means one thing we are in day seven and we're ready for horde night um, as you can see, I have uh, been able to do quite a few upgrades um, into concrete. Uh, I've gotten a good portion of the base upgraded to concrete. Uh, I did this one column uh, twice, so you could see what the reinforced concrete looks like. Uh, I don't expect there to be, especially day seven, first horde night, I don't expect there to be so much damage that, that, you know, that we're going to have needed to have reinforced concrete. I've also started to clear um, as much as I could away from the the horde base just so that i could see things coming um you know that's not as big of an issue but uh, as time goes on i'll clear more and more of this out and also get some uh probably some fire barrels out here for better visibility um, i've got uh plenty of ammo here i've got 151 iron arrows and 145 stone arrows unfortunately i didn't come across uh, any rifles or pistols but i've started to accumulate that ammo here along with some additional food uh, some additional repair supplies 
And then I've got um, some medicines and painkillers down here if we end up needing them along with the sewing kit if we get uh, cut open. Um, we won't need the fire axe, so I'll bring this up here. Uh, maybe that'll let us bring down, let's see, I've got bandages. Um, you know what, maybe I'll just grab this in case we do end up needing it. If we get infected, we won't have to run back up here. Uh, and then in terms of additional upgrades, whoop, this is always a little bit finicky. I didn't uh, upgrade much in here. And I'll probably do that later. Uh, those are just some extra crap that I've got. And I've started to uh, tunnel down and tunnel over. Uh, this will be where our escape tunnel is, but I'm definitely not gonna have that complete before Horde Night begins. So I'll just keep working on this and we'll come back when it's time. All right, and here we go. And of course, I don't have the greatest aim. So we're gonna put the sledgehammer to use right away. So you can effectively hit them right in between these bars. Takes a little finagling sometimes. And as you can see, we did get a little bit of damage and the, um, the horde seems to have stopped. So we'll just repair as much of this as we can. We'll just look for ones that look like they're in the worst shape well and we're out. And uh, I definitely sustained a few injuries in the course of that. I got an abrasion. Uh, and my health is down a bit, but um, all in all, not too bad. I'll take it. Let's see what kind of damage we got. 
Yeah, the soil did get damaged. <laughs> My aim is terrible, uh, especially with these arrows. Uh, one other upgrade that you could do is uh, to replace this row of dirt here. This this whole row of dirt could be replaced with, um, you know, with the uh, flagstone and upgraded to, to the uh, cement block if you wanted to reinforce that even more. You can see these didn't really last very long. Um, so the sooner you can upgrade them to iron, the better off you're going to be. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, occasionally it'll glitch out. I did get a few zombies come through. Um, there was a nurse and a dog that got through. But, uh, you know, all in all, in terms of, uh, you know, being having used this for a long time, uh, I found it to be pretty handy, uh, pretty useful, and like I said, you can up, you can start this with very little resources early in the game, really just um, dirt and clay, right? Uh, sorry, rocks and clay uh, to make cobble, and then you can make the flagstone uh, blocks. So it's pretty easy to get started with. All right, well, that's pretty much going to do it for uh, this tutorial. Um, hopefully that you got something out of it uh, and you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. Um, and if you'd like to get notified of other videos like this, please do subscribe. And uh, I really do appreciate uh, everybody's support. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you back here soon.